It's a process. I give it time and it give me back progress. Now I'm just trying to be honest and profit off of cutting through all the nonsense. Sick of the straw man, go all in, man. They can never stay on topic. <laughs> Being dumb don't leave you with many options. Come on, let's be honest, bro. I leave them in shock. They just mad on the cream of the crop. What's up, guys? I'm Skulls, and today we're gonna be checking out I'm Broken by Pantera. I don't know anything about this song, but at least we have a music video this time. Last time I checked out Cemetery Gate, I took a chance and did the studio version, not the official music video one, because they like chopped off like two minutes of it, and I was just like, Nah, if there's two minutes extra song, I want to hear it. Now I'm here. Both the studio version and this one have the same timestamp, so we're going to go with the video. I'm excited to check these guys out again. I don't have a lot to say. I'm just going to dive in. But first, if you're new here, consider hitting the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. Helps the channel grow, helps the video reach more people, and I appreciate it a lot. Ooh. <laughs> Woo! This is good. This is damn good. I needed this, man. Like, I've had some pent-up aggression. Let's go! Sorry. They keep surprising me, man. Like, when I first heard them, I heard Walk. That was my first experience with them. Seemed kind of, uh, simplistic. And I wasn't sure if that was gonna be what they are. But then I listened to Cemetery Gates, and, uh, they just really opened up from there. They showed this very poetic side of them. And the lyricism in it was just very ambiguous and it was captivating it was emotional and it was aggressive it just did a great job at captivating the grieving process and now here it's just like the riff is killer again their riffs are always really good and memorable but there's some complexity going on with the band and it's got my attention Go! Oh, these guys are so nasty. Their energy is like at a... 15. I spit a little bit. I'm, I gotta calm down. I miss these types of videos, dude, where like the quality didn't even matter. It was just like, they just brought so much energy. You didn't need to make things cinematic. Like the lighting is terrible on the drummer. Like it's just so overexposed. You can't even make out his face and it just doesn't matter. Yeah, boy!
I was getting nervous for the cameraman there at the end. He was getting a little too close to them while they were headbanging and not looking at him. I was like, this dude's about to get freaking clocked. Bro, I'm 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 so turned up right now. I think that might be my favorite song by them. But I'm going to dive into the lyrics now. So verse 1. I wonder if we'll smile in our coffins while loved ones mourn the day. The absence of our faces, living, laughing, eyes awake. Is this too much for them to take? Too young for one's conclusion, the lifestyle one. Such values you taught your son. Okay, so there seems to be some, like, resentment here. Or at least that's how it's coming across to me. It almost seems like, oh, well, you pushed this lifestyle on me. And it ultimately killed me. And he's wondering if he'll be smiling in his coffin. But then he said, such values you taught your son. So this is obviously directed at either um, his own parents or maybe he's talking about parents in general because he did say will be smiling in the coffin not just him so maybe this is a commentary on society and the parenting in society um, I don't know yet but he's definitely questioning the values that were taught to him or others or maybe him and others but the lyrics continue that's how that's how look at me now I'm broken inherit my life I'm broken so this almost seems like a circle of life thing maybe a self-destructive lifestyle that's been passed on from parents to child to parents to child and it just keeps going and maybe he's upset that he inherited that life but verse 2 one day we all will die a cliched fact of life force fed to make us heed inbred to sponge our bleed Every warning, a leaking rubber, a poison apple for mingled blood. Too young for one's delusion, the lifestyle cost. Venereal mother embrace the loss. Yeah, this is definitely coming across as a sort of resentful song. And I'm definitely getting the vibe that it's less geared towards his parents, but more geared towards parents of society because society got this way somehow. And that was a collective thing because it almost seems like it's geared towards his lifestyle as an artist. A lot of drugs and bad habits and unhealthy mentalities they just come with the territory of touring and doing all this stuff and especially in that crowd like that type of heavy metal crowd definitely seems like a strong criticism i definitely love the song man like this this got me hyped this is a straight to the playlist type song let me know if i missed anything with the lyrics guys uh, i really like this i really found it interesting but yeah that's where i'm gonna end the video guys i appreciate you stopping in and hanging out with me if you haven't already make sure you hit the like button the subscribe button the notification bell helps the channel grow helps the video reach more people and i appreciate it a lot and wherever you are i hope you're having a good day good night and as always, I look forward to the next one. Peace.